It's all you can Vegas. Hey everybody, it's Derek and I'm here in Las Vegas. Back up here onto the green. So you can so I can prove to you I'm really here in, in, in Las Vegas. See I'm right here by Mandalay Bay. You could do this too, right here at Terrible's Roadhouse. Terrible's Roadhouse is basically like a giant 7-Eleven. They've got drinks. There's even a, a white castle down there where you can get sliders, some nacho cheese to go with your tortilla chips. Looks like there's no hot dogs available, but there's plenty of jerky. Perfect for road trips. There is a lot of road trip fun to be had here at Terrible's Roadhouse, including the the Herbie the Love Bug happens to be here right now. Let's take a close-up look at Herbie. He's a 1963 Volkswagen Beetle. Appeared in The Love Bug and many more beloved Walt Disney films. You can even take a peek inside. We can look in better on the other side. Keep the windows open over there. Yeah, we got the window open. You can take a nice look inside. And there it is, inside Herbie the Love Bug. You can come check it out for yourself right here at Terrible's Roadhouse. Love Herbie. All right, let's check out the Candy and Pop. That's down here in this corner. They have vintage soda pops, vintage candies. At least they did the last time I was here. I hope they still do. All sorts of fun for the whole family here, including this merry-go-round. I don't know if this is real or what. Yeah, look, it says just stick in some money. And maybe something will happen. Oh, and look, so what I'm hoping for is some candy I've never seen before that I want to try. Moon Pies. Double Bubble. I think I remember that. Juju Fruits. Cow Tails. I just want some candy like, you know, people ate back when they did the Charleston. I guess that would be the Charleston Chew. All right, I'll get one of these. Tootsie Rolls. Ooh, look at that. Chowards Violet. What is this? Feels like hard candy. All right, I'll try that. I think I'll try one of these Reed Cinnamon, too. Not a fan of root beer, so I'm not gonna get that one. Zots. All right, why not? Ooh, look at this. Big silos of candy. Oh, here's the soda pops down here. The bubble up. The mustard flavored soda. The Kickapoo Joy Juice. And Orange Crush, Grape Crush. All right, I'll get some of these. Big Red. Nesbitt's. Knee high, that's definitely one I haven't seen in a few decades. Sarsaparilla, King Kong. What is this? Oh, I guess you can get them cold over here. The other ones are just kind of hot. Ginger beer. All right, so I'm gonna get a few of these sodas and some candy. And we'll we'll try it. See how it all tastes. All right, I've got four soda pops from Terrible's Roadhouse, Terrible Herbst Oil Company. Which one to try first? Well, I don't like root beer but I did get this, which is root beer. But it's root beer caramel cream, which maybe is better than root beer. 
Or maybe that's what root beer is. I don't think so though. Root beer always tastes a little funky to me. Let's try brownie root beer. Well, that's not too bad. Okay, hold on. Oh, it has that dark root beer color. I guess that's the same color as Coke, <laughs> Pepsi. All right. Oh no. Yeah, it does have that medicine-y. Oh boy. All right. It says caramel cream since 1929. Here we go. Brownie caramel cream root beer. Oh, oh, <laughs> just the taste of it on my tongue after I've swallowed it is, it's terrible. Hey, oh, it's terrible. Terrible herbs. Okay. Terrible. Hey, now if you want a drink that tastes like Terrible's Roadhouse, well, here it is. It's brownie root beer. Oh, it like gets you that second time. Oh. Now I'm, I'm really scared of some of these. I mean, Big Red, deliciously different. This is different, all right. All right. I don't want to waste it though. Oh, the smell. Uh. All right, let me, uh, let me rinse this out. All right. Now for Big Red. Big Red, I thought I had heard of this. Maybe I'm thinking of the chewing gum. That's like a cinnamon flavored gum, maybe. I hope this isn't cinnamon flavored. I don't think I want that, but it says deliciously different. Big Red, is there anything else that can give me a clue? Produced under the authority of Dr. Pepper 7-Up Inc. Oh, it says made with real sugar. All right, what was this? Did this say anything like that? Oh, this says pure cane sugar too. So these are definitely like old timey colas, the way that soda pop was meant to be. Big red. It smells kind of like licorice. That's probably too much. Oh, <laughs> did I mention I, I'm not a fan of licorice either? I don't, I really actually don't like it. Oh. I like orange flavor things. That's my favorite flavor. I like red flavored things usually because usually they're cherry or strawberry no all right here we go with big red well that's not as bad as i thought not certainly not as bad as this brownie root beer it's it's mildly licorice -y. I could drink this if I had to. And I guess I bought it, so I have to. Oh. Okay. We have two more. Now, I'm pretty sure 
knee high I've had like in the 70s, maybe. Kickapoo Joy Juice, never had it. It sounds like a novelty drink that is only made for the name and no one would actually order this. I don't know where you could actually order it, but let's go with the knee high because I know that I like orange flavored drinks and hopefully it tastes like an orange crush or something like that, an orange aid, orange knee high. It's an orange knee high. Here we go, orange knee high. I'm gonna put it in this new one. Here we go. I can't smell anything. It literally, I you know how orange things usually, they smell really orange? I don't smell anything here, a little worrisome. Here we go. Oh. Well. It tastes like kind of weak, flat orange soda. It's not flat, but it kind of tastes like that. It almost tastes stale. <laughs> like, there's, when was this made? Does this say? What if this was like made in the 70s? That's what it is. This tastes like the 70s. Flat and stale. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, this tastes like the way seven, the 70s, that I remember the 70s. Everything kind of tasted like this. Okay. All right, well, knee high for a taste of the 70s. Orange knee high. <laughs> okay. Finally, Kickapoo Joy Juice. Then we got a lot of candy to try. So stick around to the end. We got plenty of candy to eat as well. Here we go with Kickapoo Joy Juice. Now I'm, it says get that kick. So this is probably gonna, I better rinse this out. <laughs> Okay. Kickapoo Joy Juice. This was probably hilarious to whoever thought of this back in the 30s or the 50s or whenever. I mean, it's pretty funny now, I guess. All right, here we go. Oh, look at this. It smells kind of like like Sprite and ginger ale mixed together. It's very yellow, very bubbly. <sighs> That's not bad. This might be the winner of all of these soda pops. It's quite bubbly. Yeah, it's like, kind of like, it's kind of like half Sprite, half ginger ale. Maybe a little hint of Mountain Dew. Well, I gotta say, if I was gonna eat, drink an entire bottle of any of these, it'd be the Kickapoo Joy Juice. The next, just because it reminds me of the blandness of the 70s, Mihai. Oh, these two though. Big Red and Brownie Caramel Root Beer. I think they're tied for worst. <laughs> I, I can't say which one is. I have a bias against root beer, but <laughs> I was hoping this would change my mind. But I still don't like root beer. But I do like Kickapoo Joy Juice. Congrats to Chickapoo Go Chickapoo. This was the winner. Kickapoo Joy Juice. Available now at 
Terrible's Roadhouse in Eugene, Nevada, and at select retailers near you. Kickapoo Joy Juice. All right, it's time for candy. All right, now, let's see what we got. And so you tell me if you've heard of any of these candies before. I'm dying to try the Charleston Chew because I literally don't know what it is. But I know that people did the Charleston. It's something like this with your knees, right? Right? Anybody else remember the 20s? Let me know, is anybody else alive during the 20s? I remember them. We used to do the Charleston. With our knees. All right, <laughs> let's, let's try the chocolatey Charleston. Ooh. Ooh. What is this? <laughs> Smells pretty good. All right, here we go. Oh, it's like, I got it like nougat. Very hard to chew. Oh, that's why it's called a Charleston Chew. Mmm, I'm gonna sit here and just gnaw on this all day. I feel like I saw something like this in the Little Rascals. Mmm. <laughs> it tastes very good, actually. But it just would take you all day to eat this. I feel like they made candy last longer back in those days. <laughs> Let's try the Charleston Chew Strawberry. Oh, okay. This is very hard to open. I. They probably had a better way of opening it back in the 20s. Oh, this one's softer. That first one did feel a little old. <laughs> oh, this is better. This is, doesn't have as much chew. Still has a lot of chew, though. Mmm. But this is good. It's strawberry. <laughs> Tip number one, don't eat Charleston Chews on a date. <laughs> All right, I like those. So Charleston Chews, very good. Now, how about Goo Goo Clusters? Because I know these are still, I think, are these still regionally popular somewhere? I'm not sure what region. Oh, it says here, brought to you by Goo Goo Cluster LLC, Nashville, Tennessee. Maybe these are Nashville regional item. Let me know if you're from Nashville or if you know where Goo Goo Clusters are from or if you like Goo Goo Clusters or don't. Or I just want to know what you think about Goo Goo Clusters. Okay, this is the original. Wow, this is a lot easier to open. This looks good. It says peanut, caramel, and marshmallow nougat covered in milk chocolate. All right. Oh yeah, that's good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. There's a nice, nice thick layer of chocolate on top, mixed in with nuts, caramel in the middle, nougat on the bottom, and all, all covered in chocolate. I like it. I'll save the pe pecan one for later. I'm sure it's very similar. Now, what I really want to know is what is up with this taffy? This is, <laughs> it's literally, can you see that? It's like a, it is a piece of paper. I need some Kickapoo juice. Oh, 
clear my palette. Get ready for the taffy. Okay, here we go. This is Macraw's Taffy, the original old fashioned flat. That's what it says. All right, here we go. Oh. Oh, it's very, it's very brittle. Let's see. Mm, is this supposed to be? It's literally crunching apart in my mouth. I thought taffy is like. Oh, this is terrible. Oh. Mm mm. Oh no, I don't like this. Okay, next, let's try the violet. This is Chowards Violet. What I don't like is that this stuff doesn't say violet what? Like, is it a mint? Is it, oh, it says right here, 15 mints. <laughs> so it is a mint. Oh, oh look at that. This is kind of fun looking, look at that. This kind of reminds me of something like you get and oh, look at that. Like at the end of a fancy meal in the 40s or the 30s, right? So you'd like, they'd be like, Chowards Mint. <laughs> they'd probably present it to you like this. Chowards Mint, sir? And you'd be like, why? <laughs> Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Mmm. 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 Wow, it almost, it kind of has like a, it does say violet. It's almost like a lavender or something like that, like a an adult mint flavor. But like, you know what like real old ladies smell like? Like, good perfume <laughs> that's like they have had since the 30s. And it probably was very popular in the 30s. That's what this tastes like. Let's try Reed's Cinnamon. This is our last thing before the Andy's Mints. Reed's individually wrapped cinnamon. What? I don't know. Since 1893. 1893. So now this is going back to before the turn of the 20th century. Oh, look, individually wrapped. They're not lying. These are individually wrapped. Look at that. Individually. They're all individually wrapped. Okay. And they're cinnamon. This also might make good after dinner mint. It's more like a lifesaver. Right? What do you call that? It's not a mint. A candy? I'll just say it's like a lifesaver. Oh yeah, it's like a red hot. Like a red hot. Shaped like a lifesaver. Uh, that's too much already. The thing about those red hots, you can't have them. I can't have them for too long in my mouth. Like, I think this has been too long in my mouth already. I have this one later. I got plenty, they're individually wrapped. Okay, for the big finish, we've got Andy's Creamed Mint. And I've almost finished the Kickapoo Joy Juice. Now I've had these Andes mints before and I know I love these. I love 
mint chocolate chip ice cream. I love Junior Mints at the movie theater. And I love these Andes Mints. So let's try the Andes Mints Snap Bar. Ooh, wow, look at that. It's like a whole bar of like thick Andes Mints. These are like extra thick. All right, I'm gonna snap them. Look at that, it's the Andes Mint Snap Bar. Here we go. That's nice. They're kind of fancy. See, they say Andy's right on there too, on the chocolate. They spare no expense. These are fancy mints right here. Fancy chocolate mints. They're creme de mint. De mint. Mmm. Oh, I needed some ice cream, like vanilla ice cream. Make my own Andy's mint chocolate chip. That'll be great. Well, I really think that my favorite was probably the Goo Goo Clusters. Second favorite, I think the Charleston Chew. Reminds me of being a boy back in the 20s. And then, of course, these cream events remind me of being a fancy young adult in the 1970s. But best of all is probably this Kickapoo Joy Juice. Just like it says on the bottle, get that kick. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know what you think about Charleston Chews and Google Clusters and Andy's Mints and Kickapoo Joy Juice. And be sure to subscribe for more because there's always more to eat and drink at Terrible Herbst. <laughs> Leave me an idea for a new outro as well. <laughs> and get that kick.